I'm going to show you guys how to find the inverse for this function, 3x plus 1 over 2x plus 4 in 5 seconds. First, draw the fraction bar. Next, you want to switch this and that, but make them negative. So you have negative 4 here with the x, and then minus 3 here. And then just keep that and that the same. So plus 1 and 2x, and we're done. What's that 5 seconds? You let me know. But why does this work though? Well, let's talk about it. So we are going to find the inverse for the general form, which is ax plus b over cx plus d. First, we want to write f of x as y, and this side right here stays. Then, for the inverse, the main thing is the x and y got switched. So we are going to write the y as x. And then we will have a and then change the x to y over c y plus d. So step one, step two. Now the next step is that we have to find the y right here. Okay, let's multiply this to both sides. So we will have x times c y plus d equals this a y plus b. And then we can distribute the x from here to here. So we have c x y plus d times x. Uh, this means d times x. We're not talking about calculus derivative, okay? And then this is equal to a y plus b. Now we want to put all the y's together on one side and then the rest on the other. So that's minus a y here and minus a y here so that this and that cancel. In the meantime, that's minus dx here. So this and that cancel and then that's minus dx here. Now, if you take a look, here we have c x y minus a y that's equal to that's a horrible y and that's equal to b minus dx now we can factor out the y so y times cx minus a equals b minus dx and then we can just divide this to both sides so we get y is equal to b minus dx over cx minus a and this y is precisely our inverse, so I'm going to rewrite that as our f with a negative 1 notation for the inverse function. Right, this means the inverse of f. And that's equal to, right here, let's change the order, because usually we like to have the x term goes first. So we write this as negative dx plus b over cx minus a. And this right here, it's the general form for the inverse of that function. So notice the b and b here, cx and cx, they stay. But originally we have ax and then d. Right now we have negative dx and then negative a. So you will have to switch a and d, right? Switch the numbers and also make them negative. That's why earlier when we did the question, it was f of x equal to 3x plus 1 over 2x plus 4. This right here gives us f inverse being equal to you switch 3 and 4 and make them negative. So you will have negative 4x over, and then this right here should be a minus 3. And then the 1 and 2x stays the same, so plus 1 and 2x. Just like that.